Welcome, uh, Virgo, to your reading. I'm Scorpio Moon. Intuition bringing messages from spirit. This reading is general and it may or may not resonate with you. Take what resonates and leave the rest. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can visit me on my website at www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. Also, for a limited time only, I have my spiritual sage wands that are now available in my shop. And so this is what it looks like. And in this particular one, it has a cute little uh, charm here with um, a toad, <laughs> a frog, and a miracle. And so um, each of these uh, sage wands come with a special charm. And um, it's basically, it's potluck. So whatever I send you, uh, I suppose is meant for you. And so, uh, if you're interested in these, I have 12 left. Okay. So after the 12, then these, these are gone. So th this is a limited edition item. I only made this about once or twice a year. And so, uh, so far this week, um, everything has been sold out. I just made, uh, a new batch last night. So I have four, um, but I have enough to make. Let's see, eight left, <laughs> eight more, <laughs> sorry. I had to do simple math. And so um, if you guys are interested in this, go ahead and take a look on my website, www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get into your reading, Virgo. So this reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Cross Watcher, if you're the ones watching this, then it may resonate with you. So let's begin. If you're wearing headphones, Please lower the volume. I welcome in my spare guides and angels, and I has the greatest good. I welcome messages of love and light that bring healing and love to all. Please bless this reading. Thank you. All right. So also, I'm going to go ahead and spray some spray. Make sure that we're clear of any kind of negative energy. So let's see. Barry, can you please reveal to me <clears throat> what is it that Virgo needs to know and love? What does Virgo need to know about the person that they're connected to and love? Virgo, who is the person that you're connected to and love? What is it that you need to know about this particular person? Thank you. Wow. Okay. So the first card that showed up was passion, but it came up in reverse. It says, try something you've never done before. So I really feel like uh, your person, um, they've done it. Okay. They've done it all. So maybe they lost the passion to try something new. That's what I'm getting. Also, we have boundaries. Firm boundaries are needed now. I really uh, feel that your person is putting uh, these healthy boundaries around themselves. So automatically, this is what I'm feeling. Your person doesn't want to approach you for sex, okay? Uh, they really want something much deeper than a, a playful relationship. Uh, that's what I'm seeing. And also, we have put away the computer, okay? Working less will help strengthen your relationship. This person is a workaholic, okay? They can't put the computer away. I feel that your person is on it 24-7. That's what I'm getting. Wow. Let's see. Spirit, is there anything else that you could reveal about this person that's connecting uh, to Virgo in love? Who is the person that's connecting to Virgo in love? Please clarify the energies that is coming through 
on this person that's connecting to the sign of Virgo in love. Wow. Okay. So... So I see that this person, they're kind of like neutral when it comes to change. So I feel like your person um, is really just kind of like in, in um, kind of neutral, right? They're no longer passionate to approach you. I really feel that uh, they're not really matured in a sense, but they're not immature also. But what I'm seeing is that they're just not budging okay this person isn't doing nothing uh to uh come toward you um they're they're not putting in the effort that's what i'm seeing i really feel like this person has expectations um because they have put firm boundaries in this connection with you so this person has made a decision that they will work on it if there is a completion of some kind of a cycle and i feel like uh it's it's firm, right? Their boundaries are firm on whatever um, that they have placed in connection towards you. And they're not really pursuing you with passion or sex. I really feel like your person um, really wants something more. They want a stable relationship. So um, I really feel also that they don't feel privileged okay um to to be with you at this time i really feel like your person's more focused on their job and career rather than um being in a relationship with you and i really feel like it's because uh both you and your person aren't really communicating and so uh because of this non-communication you guys aren't really connecting in the physical that's what this feels like now whatever these boundaries are it, it could mean anything okay so let's go ahead and see Spirit, can you please reveal to me what is the current overall energy of this person that's connecting to Virgo? How are they thinking of you? How are they feeling? What is it that they want and what is the outcome? Please reveal to me clear messages in regards to a person that's connecting with the sign of Virgo. Thank you. So I see here's the six of pentacles. Now, your person really wants to balance everything. Um, you know, they, they want an equal exchange of give and take. If you're not going to work on the situation, then um, are they going to give back towards you? They really want balance. So what I'm seeing is that they've set the, the firm boundaries here, okay, about who they, they share. Uh, their time and energy and focus on that's what I'm seeing and what I'm seeing here is that um, you know I feel like they're, they're uh, really more focused on themselves and about what they want now I do know this okay this person is thinking of you emotionally However, they have everything except for you, okay? That's what I'm saying. But there is a blockage here with the boundaries, okay? So, I again, I just feel like you guys aren't really talking. Perhaps uh, you guys are on two different continents. Uh, maybe you're separated by a body of water, okay? Take it as it resonates. And um, I'm really seeing that this person does think of you a lot, okay? Uh, for some, a Virgo, you could be done with a Cancer, maybe a Leo, Okay, and that's for some. You know, there's a, some sort of truth and clarity that uh, your person is seeing. And they do want to reconcile with you. They really do. But I also feel like uh, maybe they're overthinking the situation. I feel that it's because a lot of time has passed nothing really worked out when they they put their best foot forward in this connection that's why you know this person isn't coming towards you 
passionately. I feel like、uh, they've done that before, and、um, they're kind of neutral on approaching you. And it's because of the boundaries. Now, either this person has set some boundaries, or maybe you had put some boundaries towards them. Take it as it resonates. Whatever the case is, okay, your person has expectations on these boundaries. And honestly, I really feel like they—they're actually more focused on themselves. They feel like they deserve more, okay, than just a sexual encounter. That's the feeling that I'm getting. And also, okay, their pride and ego here is in the way.、Uh, perhaps you know,、um, they're just、uh, really. A public person, okay.、Uh, maybe they're a public figure for some. So they could be、uh, really busy at work, okay. And I see that this person is very compassionate towards a lot of people. There's a lot of people that surround your person that really adores them. That's what I'm seeing, seeing, and you know. I feel that your person wishes that they could just end this cycle, and so that you guys can have a new beginning. Honestly, this person is by themselves. Okay, I just feel like they they're working a lot. Okay,、um, they have a computer based business. Okay,、um, they can't seem to get off of the computer, from what I can see. Because they they work really hard, and I really feel like you admire that aspect about your person, Virgo. Okay, but there's some boundaries that are that are still in the way here, and it could be you.、Um, now this could be you. This could be a person. Take it as it resonates. But what I'm seeing is that、um, they're not budging. Okay, they're not giving in. They're not even、um, pursuing you passionately. I feel like they've been really cold. Um, and and a little bit put off, and definitely there's some very strong boundaries here. This person isn't invested into you. They do want to get out of their head, though. I feel that they've been stuck for some time about this connection, and they just don't know which way to go. And what I'm also seeing is that, you know, they feel rejected. So Virgo, this is what I'm feeling. Okay, now the roles could be reversed. So take it as it resonates. This person feels that you rejected them. Okay, or you guys can't be together for whatever reason, and so they're they're sitting here in timeout. Even、uh, if you、uh, tried to offer something, they they couldn't see it. Okay, it went over their head. They're really focused on、uh, what's in front of them. Okay, it could be a third party situation, whatever this third party、uh, situationship is, and they're just not happy with what what is going on in their physical life. I see that、um, they they feel like it's over. Okay,、uh, this person is is going through,、um, you know, just kind of like an energy. Like, is this really over between you and them? If that's not the case, I also feel that、uh, there is some sort of change that is happening because there's a lot of smoke. Okay, and things aren't very clear, and、uh, this rope isn't completely cut off. But it's hanging on by a very thin thread, okay. And so your person is really thinking, okay, that there are some decisions that、um, they need to make. And what I'm saying is that、um, they're just not able to offer you love. So your person is really holding back. With their passion, I really feel like they've tried to、uh, open up with passion before. Okay, they they don't know what to do. This is a very thick wall. The wall is very thick here. It is like、um, impenetrable, is what I'm feeling. Okay, that's what I'm seeing. And now they do have hope that they could reconcile with you. Okay, for some you're dealing with an Aquarius, but、uh, what I'm seeing is that. You know, they wish that things were different. Okay, that is what they hope for. And for some, they hope that they can get out of a relationship, or maybe if you could get out of a relationship, take it as it resonates. And they're trying to get out of their head. 
uh, about being stressed, and they're being defensive. So, if you guys aren't really talking and they're they're a little bit defensive, a little bit guarded, they have their boundaries up. It's because um, they've been hurt before in the past, trying to work it with you. And something got in the way, okay? I really feel like it, it could be people. It could be a group of people. It could be a, a situation, circumstantial. Everyone's situation here is different. But I really feel like, you know, they were really defensive about, you know, coming forward towards you. But I see that um, they're making plans. So your person definitely does want to be with you. You know, and I feel that, you know, they could start off with, you know, sending you a message. And this could be like a, a, a text message, right? Like an emoji. <laughs> I call this my emoji card. They could send you like a winky winky, small face, kissy face, you know. You know, to kind of show you that, you know, they're no longer guarded and they can give two, two shits about what people say or think, okay? They just don't want uh, any kind of drama, okay? That, you know, first and foremost, this person it has really strong boundaries because this person felt like there was competition, uh, you know, and they didn't want to um, overstep their boundaries when it comes to you. That's what I'm seeing, okay? And that's why they were holding back. They were holding back because they didn't want to, um, you know, kind of like uh, overstep boundaries. That's what it looks like, guys. They're patiently waiting. That's what I'm saying. So since you guys aren't together, this person is drowning themselves into work because um, they that's that's what they're owed. That is what they can do at this time. This person has a very uh, deep interest into you, Virgo. However, somebody here is um, having a thick wall. Okay, it could be them. It could be you. But there's a boundary that this person knows not to cross. And they don't want to come to you for just being flirty. Because I feel like this person um, has morals. Okay, ethics and morals. That's what it looks like. Wow. And uh, they kind of see that, you know, you're very beautiful. You're very talented. Um, they really see that, uh, you know, you do well with other people. That's what they admire about you. And what I'm also seeing is that they're not even coming to contact you. Okay. They're holding back. You know, it, it's just very difficult for them, you know, to do this because they feel like, uh, their effort is futile. Okay, they feel like even if they tried, it wouldn't uh, amount to anything. But look, what did I say? This person has deep feelings for you, Virgo. And they're just trying to get off this attachment, even like an obsession, you know. But I see that this person uh, is slowly coming back. They just don't want to be fickle anymore. You know, I really feel like your person is being very patient, waiting for the right time, you know, and everyone's situation here is different, right? But there's some boundaries. This person, okay, does not want to approach you for sex. That's what I keep getting. Okay, they want more. And this person is very moralistic and very ethical. They're a hard worker. Instead of like dating other people, you know, they're um, kind of like passively waiting for the right time to be with you, Virgo. And I also see that this person works a lot. Okay, so um, that's what I'm seeing. So let's see. You know, what I'm getting here is that 
This person doesn't want to let you go. Someone here needs to get out of a marriage or a commitment, okay? Or maybe something wasn't done fairly, okay? And they can't let this go. Now, this could have been a situation that happened in the past, and that's why uh, there's a connection still that's lingering here between you two, okay? Uh, I'm also saying it could be a... Uh, hmm, an earth sign so i'm i'm getting that this person is very uh, stable and grounded just like you okay and i really feel like uh this is your match in the physical now um the other thing i'm also picking up on is that they don't want to let you go okay um but they know that there has to be an ending towards the situation because for some of you virgos okay you're in a commitment and that's another thing i'm also getting you know uh they're actually starting to lose their patience and it's really hard for them to uh really find balance within themselves uh to offer you a sense of stability i really feel like your person works a lot okay so it's not fair so your person is drowning themselves into work is what i'm seeing because honestly um your person they're still Okay, there's still something there between you two, but because of these boundaries, they're not approaching you. Okay, that's what I'm seeing. Wow, so they keep going back to the past. Okay, about something that wasn't done fairly. Either they didn't do this to you or you did this to them. Take it as it resonates in the heart. I see that they want to tell you the truth about what they have been holding back. And the truth is, is that they felt like they were not done uh, correctly. Okay. They had expectations. Okay. Um, your person. I don't know. I have a sense that, okay, so it's not going to resonate for every Virgo, but I'm going to have to put it out here. I feel like Virgo, okay, you did something to this person and they feel like it was unfair. Okay. Now they've been holding back on this and they, they couldn't really, um, express this to you. I feel like you guys didn't talk about this. And, um, what I'm also seeing here is that, you know, because of that, you guys were not able to have a relationship. Okay, so your person um, was feeling unstable and because of this instability, it caused them uh, to just uh, throw themselves into work. I see that this this person has deep feelings for you and it's it's taken them a lot of courage to to really hold space for you. I feel that um, something happened between you and this individual. Okay, and they still have feelings, okay? This person is very intuitive and um, they know that it's gonna take them a, a courage, okay? Okay, buddy. Jeez, sorry guys, that's my son. And I see that they have a hard time of making a decision, but they had to make a choice. Wow, they still choose you. Do you see that? This person chooses you. They still believe that this has the potential of having a beautiful, loving relationship. Okay, now this could happen in October. Okay, that's what I'm seeing. Um, I really feel that this person, uh, they want to express how much they've worked on themselves uh, during this period of separation with you. And it took them a lot of courage to still hang on to this connection you know this person doesn't want to just be with you in one way they want you know a grounded solid relationship with you that's what i'm saying this person loves you i feel very strongly that there's something in october okay where this person really wants to express their love yeah they're not talking to you wow for some, you're dealing with an air sign, okay? Now, whoever this person is, um, you got cut off. And they feel like there's no new beginning. They feel foolish. And uh, they're being forced to face their shadows, 
their fears, their insecurities about this connection. I really feel like one somebody pushed someone away and it made them feel very secure, like they were not worthy of being loved in this connection. That's what I'm seeing. Okay. And um, they needed time to think and they've realized that they want to work work on it with you for some it's been three years okay that's what i'm saying uh it's been three years um that you've uh known this person okay and maybe two out of the three years okay so i see here two years okay maybe you guys haven't really been together but i see in the third year there's going to be some change that's what i'm getting and your person's looking at that pentacle. Do you see that? Your person is looking at this pentacle. But there's karmics in the way. So obviously th third party situation. So maybe for a year. Um, you know there was someone uh, that was in your life over here and here you are okay looking over here or take it as it resonates okay but it's this person is actually seeing the 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 third party situation so i really feel like that's you so you've been seeing that it's taken you three years to realize this okay but your person is fixated on this pentacle over here because it's been some time and i really feel that that's why there's some boundaries here um, I feel like somebody was in a commitment, okay? Somebody here was in a commitment and there's boundaries and um, there was expectations that came with those boundaries. For some, it, it was a marriage, okay? I'm going to have to put out there, look at this lady, you know, she's in a wedding gown, you know? And I also see that um, this person wasn't happy during those years. That's what I'm seeing. And that's what they're seeing. So there's a lot of um, healing that's actually going on here. Yeah. they've uh, During this period of separation, they've taken the time to really work on themselves and to heal themselves. And I really feel like they, they do want to reconcile. Okay. That's what I'm saying. They know that they were only thinking of themselves, but now they want to work on it. But I really feel like it's because of miscommunication, not enough communication, not really uh, being honest with feelings, you know, things like that. That's what I'm seeing here. So let's see. What is it that your person wants to say? Spirit, can you please reveal to me what are the messages that your person would like to say towards you at this time? Dang, those two came out real fast. I'm afraid to take that next step right now. They're afraid. That's why your person, they set up those boundaries. Maybe you have. They don't feel safe to approach you because of what happened in the past, right? They were waiting on that pentacle to come through. I feel too much pressure right now. They think it's just too much, right? And finally, I'm sorry I held myself back with you. Your person never really expressed how they truly felt towards you. I feel like they never had the chance. Um, you know, I really feel like, you know, this person did never really wanted to just be with you for sex. They really wanted m so much more. Um, but I feel like there was a boundary here that um, that couldn't be crossed. I feel like somebody here got into a relationship or a marriage, okay? There's a marriage here involved, and that's why there's boundaries. Your person has morals and ethics. That's why they're not crossing these boundaries, right? And your person works a lot, you know? Like, they're, they're just, like, work-focused, okay? That's what I'm saying. And so they, they really feel like um, they can't be with you in that way, you know? Because they don't know what else to do about the situation. So let's go ahead and see what is the guidance. So if this has been resonating with you. For your almost personal reading, right? <laughs> Let me know in the comment section below if this resonated. And make sure you like, 
uh, share and subscribe if you will and if you do subscribe okay uh, go ahead and hit the all bell notification now um, if you have not um, if you're already subscribed go ahead and unsubscribe and resubscribe and hit the all bell notification because sometimes um, YouTube is glitchy okay it's not perfect and not everyone gets their notifications okay just saying and also I do have a platform on Odyssey and over there uh, you will get all of the notifications from my channel here on YouTube but also on Odyssey as well if you follow me over there so let's see Wow, we have endless possibilities as a number 38. So let's see. It means unlimited potential, moving beyond limiting beliefs and the filter of an unhealed past, using your awareness to discern <clears throat> what is possible and having the courage to leap beyond even that. You look at the world through the lens of your life experiences, personality, and conditioning. That filter determines whether you believe in an abundant universe of endless possibilities or various degrees of limitation and a finite range of options. When your expectations, unconscious or otherwise, are based on lack, it's difficult to see what is truly available to you. Today, ask yourself what you believe. Are there an, uh, limitless potential outcomes to align your energy with? Do you know intuitively that there is more to life than what meets the eye and are you willing to act on that knowledge as you believe so will it be for you as your energy will attract its match in the outer world conditions and meet expectations either your world remains the way it is in various forms yet essentially unchanging or you become more finite everything as shifts as you open yourself up to a greater vision of you and a more meaningful life discovering opportunities that better reflect your true self this is the nature of your dynamic relationship with the divine today stand with open arms knowing that you are stepping into beauty into experiences that are potent and transformative you are walking past the line that you and others drew long ago leaping over what was and towards what will be you are more than what you were now what is it that you want the treasure is yours you just need to believe it wow this is one feeling Virgo. Okay, you're very logical, very analytical, and you're always very overthinking, right? You spend a lot of uh, time reflecting. And so what this is saying is that there's endless possibilities with you and this particular individual. This is what I'm getting. You have a decision to make. And it's two decisions. One decision, okay, is um, are you going to just be complacent and um go with what's easy you know or do you want something that is going to make your heart pound you know and and kind of push you to your limits you know and and really go for this uh deep love connection that you have with this person now i really feel like your person is uh playing it neutral with you because i feel like someone here pushed someone away uh, because of a, a marital situation I'm just gonna have to put it out there because this is an almost personal reading now if if that's not your story then uh, check out your uh, moon rising and Venus signs right but this is what I'm seeing for this so I have to say it because I'm seeing this so what I'm seeing here is that your person does uh, they don't have expectations on this anymore okay it's really up to you to make a decision are you going to uh open up these boundaries you know um because for some you're in a marriage okay this marriage does not look happy whatever commitment that you're in okay marriage commitment whatever situation that you're kind of stuck in it could be family take it as it resonates right so your person is not overstepping their boundaries to uh be with you it's especially if it's for sex okay your person is um 
they don't they don't want to cross that boundary okay that's what i'm feeling so they're they're not like um they they just don't want to uh go there okay that's what i'm feeling because this person has morals and ethics that's what i'm feeling and this person feels privileged okay they know that they're worthy of a a genuine love connection and so they don't want any kind of ill will or bad karma to uh, come onto them for pursuing you now virgo you have a choice to make that's what i'm seeing so you have two choices i feel like one it's with a current person or a spouse okay or it could be with this particular individual now i really feel like your person isn't really showing their feelings to you right now because you kind of push them away and they don't have any other choice but to stay away from this connection and that's what i'm seeing so there's endless possibilities the choice is yours what is it that you want you know, do you want to take uh, something that's uh, easy, okay? Or do you want to go and see uh, if you can get um, a love of your life, something that's really going to open you up and uh, really, um, you know, get out of your comfort zone and, and not have like the mundane everyday day to day um, type of relationship, especially if it's with this person that you're tied in with, right? That's what I'm seeing, guys. So I really hope that that resonated. Let me know. Thank you all for all your comments, your likes, your shares, and subscribes. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. I provide daily guidance messages here for the collective. And if you'd like to book a personal reading, you could visit me on my website. It's www.scorpionmoonintuition.com. And you can also follow me on IG as Scorpio Moon Intuition. I hope you all have a lovely day, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.